Welcome back to Live Lean TV. I'm Jessica Guthrow. This is my guest, Eva Diva Fit. What's up? We're gonna lead you guys through a follow along abs workout. I'm using Eva as my model because I'm so pregnant. She's pregnant, <laughs> she's too cute. So I do not recommend this if you're pregnant, but if you're not pregnant, you're gonna love mm -hmm. this workout. Totally. It is from our Live Lean Abs program. It has lots of unique stuff that maybe you haven't tried before. So get ready. You don't need any equipment for this and you are gonna follow along with Eva with my instructions. Yeah. Okay. It's fun, get ready. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Go ahead and lay down on your back on the ground. We're gonna start with the first exercise, which is the stiff leg raise. So go ahead and raise your legs up, lower them down to the ground, and then crunch, lift your hips off the ground. Yeah, good. And continue like that. We're gonna do 10 reps of these. So there's two. Yeah, good. And try to get a little hip lift each time. And press your hands into the floor. Good. And four. Yeah, you can lift your head a little bit if you want to. I always like looking down at the abs because that helps you be more aware of the contraction that's happening. You really want to focus on that contraction. Yeah, good. Uh-huh, that's perfect. And last two. If your neck is getting sore, you can lay your head down, but if not, it's better to hold it up. Okay. Good, last one, that's perfect. So now we're gonna go right into the next one with only a 15 second rest. The next one is the consymmetric crunch. So you have your hands behind your head. Go ahead and lift your legs, cross your ankles with knees bent. You're gonna be crunching from both sides. So knees in towards your chest, yeah, and then stretch out and together, yeah. Yeah, just until you feel a little stretch in your abdominals, like until they relax long, and then come back together and crunch them tight. Perfect. Okay, give me seven more like this. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so notice how she's exhaling with each rep. So Eva already knows how to do the breathing on this, but if you're new to this and you don't know how to breathe, it's inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you contract. So shorten, hear how she's blowing the breath out. Yeah, good. Go ahead and relax for 15 seconds. <laughs> Our next one is the half sit up. So feet on the floor, just like you're doing a crunch, but you're gonna lift up a little bit higher than you would with a crunch. So try to get some space underneath your shoulder blades. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So just like a crunch, it's like a hybrid between a crunch and a sit up. So you're coming up as high as you can, but without actually sitting all the way up. Yes, perfect, keep going. Yeah, make the contractions as intense as you can. That's what's really gonna get you good results when you're doing ab work, is not just going through the motions, but really working on concentrating on the contractions of those abs and the breath as well. Good, so that was the half sit up, the third exercise. Go ahead and stretch it out. Take a few deep breaths here. And next we're gonna be doing the frog sit up. So you can position your feet together, knees wide open like frog legs. Yeah, and then same position with your hands. You're just gonna have them behind your head and you're gonna lift up. Yeah, good, so 10 reps of these as well. And for you guys who are following at home, you can go ahead and do more than 10 reps if you feel like you can handle more. You can go up to 20 reps on all of these exercises, um, but 10 is a good sample for <laughs> if you're new to this workout and you're not sure how much you can take. Just stick to 10 and maybe go more on the last round if you can. Okay, good. The next exercise, the fifth one, is the hip roll. So this is very similar to the first exercise we did, but now with the knees bent. So go ahead and tuck your hands underneath your bum. Lift your legs up and cross those ankles. You're gonna extend them all the way out long and then roll your hips in and lift. Yeah, there you go. And go ahead and do 10 of these. So exhaling each time. Yeah, good. Really focus on getting that lift underneath your hips. Yeah, and again, it does help to hold your head up and look down at your abs to really focus on those contractions. Yeah, good. Uh-huh, and four more. Lift those hips. Good, and three. Try to pause at the top. Yeah, there you go, that was a good one. <laughs> Two more. Get that little pause. Perfect. One more, one more. Yeah, okay, relax. How the abs feeling? Oh, they feel warm. <laughs> they feel warm. Oh, <laughs> on fire. 
Okay, 15 seconds of rest here. Just breathe in and out. You're doing really good. We're on to the knee to elbow raise. So stretch your body out long, hands behind your head. And go ahead and flex your feet and tighten your legs. So I want you to keep one leg stiff while the other one comes up to meet the elbow. So start, yeah, with the right side and then switch and do the left and you're gonna continue alternating sides. So we're just gonna do 10 total, which will be five per side, yeah. Knee and elbow meeting. Perfect, yeah. Uh-huh, you wanna shorten the side of your abdominal. So this is really hitting those obliques getting that, the nice tight sides that everyone wants. Get rid of those muffin tops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> and exhaling with each one. Yeah, you wanna keep your whole body active in this. Yeah, good, one more on each side. All right, good, go ahead and rest. Yes, very good. So we're on to the seventh exercise now, the single leg jack knife sit up. And this is one of the hardest because you have to hover those legs about 45 degree angle. So lower your heels even closer to the ground. Yeah, okay, and now lift up and crunch at the same time as you bring one leg towards you. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, exactly. And then stretch long again. Yeah. Keep your hands behind your head. Yeah. Okay, so go for it. One, mm-hmm, and two. Yeah, just like that. Three, perfect. Try to always bring your legs back down to that 45 degree level. I know it's really hard, yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Good, one more. Okay, rest. Ooh, that one's hard, right? Yes. It's really hard, okay. Do it. <laughs> okay, go ahead and pop up to your feet. We're gonna do that last bonus exercise, which is the vacuums. So you're gonna grab a little side table like this one. If you guys are at home, just put your hands on your couch or a table or anything that's nearby that's about knee height. Okay, so you wanna bend over and you, you keep your back flat, so you're kind of like a, a tabletop position with your back. Okay, just like that. So arms are extended out in front of you and they're just there for stability, no weight on the arms, all the weight on your feet, perfect. Okay, now relax your abdominals, let them go soft, and then suck them in and vacuum, carve out that space of your tummy without rounding your spine. Yeah, that's very good. You wanna keep your back flat like a tabletop and really just focus on the abdominals coming out and in. So we're gonna do 10 breaths of this. So notice how she's really following the breath here, sucking in, tightening those abdominals. Remember, there's a difference between sucking in and tightening. So you don't wanna just hollow out like a cave. You wanna actually lift and tighten. Yeah, right, right, exactly. So keep on going, let's do six more of these. Harden as you come up and then relax it. Yeah, back looks nice and straight, you're doing a great job. And see how her knees are just slightly bent athletic stance position, that's good for the knees. Yeah, very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give me three more. Tighten the abs hard as you come up. Yeah, good, and then relax soft as you go down. Yeah, good. Okay, and the last one. Okay, good. So go ahead and move the side table out of the way again. We're gonna go immediately into round two now. Okay, so anyone who's following, go ahead and get back on your mat and get ready for that stiff leg raise. Yeah, so hands tucked underneath, legs up, and let's go right away. So lower those legs down and up, lift your hips. Yeah, hips up, yeah, good. Give, give us that little pop at the top. We wanna see that pop. Yeah, very good. Okay, keep your legs a little bit stiffer and straighter. You can do it. That was three. 
Good, that's four. Yeah, and five. Second time around, your abs are already warmed up. They're getting a little fatigued, but you already know what to do. So you can really go deeper to the next level. Tear up those muscles. Yeah. Good, focus on those contractions. Yeah, good. Last one. And relax. Okay, take a 15 second break here. These breaks are gonna get more important as you get more tired. You need to allow your abs to relax so that you can do a good performance on the next set. Okay, consymmetric crunches next. Go ahead and cross your ankles, hands behind your head. You're crunching from both directions. Okay, go. Extend the legs out long and then pull them towards you. Yeah, good. Perfect, yeah, make sure you really do get a crunch from both your hips and your shoulders. Both ends of the abdominals are crunching towards each other. So this really helps train your entire abdominus. Rectus abdominis is getting hit from both angles. Yeah, good, last four. And three. Two. One more. Okay, good, go ahead and relax. Okay, half sit-ups are next. Yes, yeah, stretch those abs, take a few deep breaths. Place your feet on the ground like you're about to do a regular crunch. This looks just like a crunch, but it's a little bit higher up, okay? So lifting your shoulders even more. Hands behind the head, just a really light touch behind the ears is fine, no pulling on the head. Okay, go ahead, 10 reps. Lift halfway up and back down. Yeah, very good. And four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Really hardening those abs. Last one. Beautiful, okay, so we're going into the frog next. So take that recovery time, but then place your feet together. And just take a deep, relaxing breath here and get ready to work hard again. Okay, hands behind your head and let's go for it. Frog sit-ups. Yeah. Good. So this one is great because it relaxes overactive hip flexors. So if you're feeling it a lot in your hip flexors when you're working abs, because hip flexors are often stronger than people's abs are, then this is a great exercise for you to focus on and do a lot of, because having your knees wide open like this forces your hips to relax more. Yeah, okay, I think you got a bonus rep there. That was good. <laughs> yeah, it's never bad to be a little extra. Okay, so we're gonna do the hip rolls next. So go ahead and cross those ankles. Tuck your hands underneath your bum like you did for the leg raises. I don't have a desk memory. So huh? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You, you don't have to remember when I'm leading you here. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and lift your head, look at your abs, and good, yep, roll those hips. So make sure you focus on getting that little lift at the top and try and pause there if you can. Just get that little hang tight. Yeah, there you go. A little, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> so, so cool to levitate for a moment with the strength of your abs. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, good, give me three more. Just get that little solid little pause. Yeah, and two more, beautiful. And one more good one, come on. Yeah, awesome. Okay, relax your legs and just breathe. That was very good. Okay, so we got the knee to elbow raise, which is next. So keep your legs straight, go ahead and flex your feet. Elbows out. And so you're going side to side, lifting knee to elbow. Okay, go for it. Yeah, start with the right and back down, good. So notice how she's keeping one leg really grounded while the other one comes up. If you don't keep that leg down, it will automatically wanna raise up on its own. So really think of pressing one heel down as the other one comes up. Yeah, there you go. That's really good. 
Mm-hmm. Keep going. Yeah, good. Two more on each side. I know, right? Those obliques on fire. <laughs> good, and last one. Yeah, absolutely. Good. So like I said before, if you guys wanna do more at home, you can feel free to work up to 20 reps. We're just keeping it quick for the purposes of this video. Okay, so just 10, 10 of everything. No, you actually still have one more on the ground. It's the hardest one, it's that jackknife, jackknife one. Yeah, don't forget, I know. Our mind always wants to block out the hardest exercise. <laughs> okay, so hands can be up this time. Yeah, and then you're gonna reach to one foot as you keep the other one at a 45 angle. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. This is the hardest one because it requires that kind of isometric leg hold at the same time as you're doing a sit up. Yeah, very good. Good, five more reps, come on, five. You can do it. Four and three, good. Two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, now go ahead and stand up and reposition yourself to get into that tummy vacuum. Good. So in this standing position with the knees slightly bent back in a flat tabletop position, we're gonna go ahead and work on that vacuum. So now again, you wanna inhale as you're softening your abdominals. So take a big breath in, soften, and then exhale and harden. Blow the air out and pull the abs in. So you wanna think of your tummy like a balloon, right? So when it's deflated, meaning no air in it, that's when it's at its smallest, tightest. Yeah, and then you fill it up with air and it becomes soft and round, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Okay, that's three. Again, soft and full, and then hard and empty. I feel like I'm really good at the soft. <laughs> You're nailing it with the soft. <laughs> yeah, it, it, feel, it feels good to soften the abs, but it feels even better when they stay tight. When you train your abs in this way, you'll notice they have an easier time staying tight even when you're not trying. So that's kind of what these tummy vacuums are teaching your body to do is to know the difference <laughs> between tight and soft. Yeah. And this is one of the best waist slimming exercises you can do. Yeah. Good. Tilt your hips just a little bit back even. There you go to flatten your back more. There you go. You want your back to be super flat like a table. Yeah. Yeah, awesome, very good. Okay, so that is it, high five, <laughs> nice job. We're gonna cut it here. You would normally do, if you're doing the full workout, you would do three rounds. For video purposes, we just wanted to give you a little sample. Yeah, let's do a couple of quick stretches, cool downs. So you can lift up into a cobra position, just lengthen your abs long. This is one of the best post-ab workout ab stretches you can do. Yeah, very good. Another one I really like to do is the child's pose. Just because your lower back is getting a lot of action too when you're working your abs, so it feels really good to get into this child's pose as well and just let it round, really mm -hmm, drop your butt towards your heels and lengthen your spine. Good, let's go one more time back into that cobra abdominal stretch. Really lengthening, lifting the rib cage to create length between your pelvis and your chest. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Eva, for being the model. Hope you guys enjoyed this ab workout. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Look who's up from nap now. Yay. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Can you say ab? Abs. Can you say abs? Ab. Abs. Yeah. She's like, you don't got no <laughs> If you are interested in having more and different workouts, there is much more in this program. It has gym exercises included as well, which we went downstairs to film. Yeah. yeah, so much. And all has video demos to show you exactly how to do things with at proper home, form. Too. You can do everything yeah. at home. You don't need any equipment. Yeah, so you don't awesome. have to go to the gym, but you can yeah. use these at the gym as well. So whichever way works for you. And the workouts are quick and very effective and you mm -hmm. will definitely see ab definition popping yeah, I through. I worked up a sweat. I was like, Whoa, yeah, I know. So good. good. Yeah, thank you. Make sure to check the description box to find the link to the full program and we'll see you guys at the next episode. In the meantime, keep
Live and lame. Come on, Kai. You're not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Keep. Live and lame. No, she's like, you are so cool. <laughs> I am. You are so cool.